Polyurethane should actually last you, depending upon the application, five to 10 years, maybe 15. In some cases, we've heard 20. It's our job to make sure that we give you the correct formulation. The wrong formulation, it can cause a failure out in the field. It can cause parts not to last as long. If we do not choose the right formulation, if we give you an ester and it's in the water when you should have an ether, it's not gonna last as long. And that's gonna wind up being a headache for the customer. It's gonna wind up costing them more money. Uh, we really would like to help them avoid that situation. If we can match the right formula with their application, it's gonna save them money in the long run and it's gonna give them the peace of mind that what they get from PSI urethanes is the right product. What that means is we ask all the questions, you give us all the information that we need, and then we start going through what is the most important thing. Because there's lots of applications that will have dual uh, entities that will affect the part. So we need to know what is more important. What's the most important thing to you? Whatever the customer needs, we figure out what properties will fill that application, and then we formulate accordingly. Sometimes that's TDI, sometimes it's MDI, ether or ester, the various curatives impart different physical properties, and we also can blend the curatives to kind of tweak those properties to optimize what the customer wants. If somebody comes to us and says, I want my rollers to be ground, finished, and I need XYZ formula. Well, our first question, if we don't already know, because we have over a hundred formulas, is we're gonna say, this customer needs a ground formula. So we will have to ask the machinist, and we will talk to estimating, and sometimes we have to go to the chemist and say, can this formula be machined? And if we don't know, we'll have to make a, a small pour and test it to find out if we can ground finish it or not. By having the conversations up front, uh, by asking the right questions, by working with our engineer, and by working with production and our machine shop, we're able to get a, a formula that fits perfectly for their application. The reason that your choice of polyurethane should not be decided by a chemist or an engineer alone is because the people who actually work on assembly lines, who actually deal with the equipment, are going to know how long that part lasts, when it failed, what happened when it failed. So whenever you go to either replace a, a rubber part, a plastic part, you need to talk to the people who actually deal with the equipment or who actually work on your conveyor system and get feedback from them. That's gonna help us in turn because you're gonna be able to give us more information. What we're gonna do is we're not only gonna get you the right product, but we're gonna save you from having to repeat buy in a short period of time and or save you downtime and or save you manpower. That's why it's important to pick the right formula.